The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. together on Saturday nights. Yeah. Well, I can't go tonight. I have a date. Hooray! <laughs> well, please, no ticker tape parades. It hasn't been that long since I went out. Who's it with, Harry? No, dear, not Harry. Very nice man I met at the Simmons dinner party last week. Well, that's swell, Mom. What's your problem? Well, I don't know how to tell Vivian without hurting her feelings. Well, just tell her the truth. I'm sure she'll understand. Well, I'm not so sure about that. When she's counting on something and it falls through, you know how she sours around. <laughs> she's like a bear with a thorn and it's... Oh, hi, girl. <laughs> hi, morning, Chris. Lucy, it's freezing upstairs. What happened to the heat? Well, we're running out of coal, so I turned the furnace down low. Oh. I'll get you some coffee. I suppose there's a good reason why you don't order more coal. Yeah, there is. It's Mr. Turner and the unethical way he runs his business. He won't give me this month's coal till I pay last month's bill. <laughs> How long is our coal spell going to last? Well, my check from the bank is all gone and your alimony hasn't arrived, so we're in the twilight zone again. <laughs> be able to go to the movies with you tonight. I have a date. Well, that's a fine thing. <laughs> Making a date and not telling me, leaving me high and dry on a Saturday night. What do you mean, Mom? You've got a date, too. Well, that's different. <laughs> how? Yeah, how? Aren't you finished with your breakfast? <laughs> I can take a hint. <laughs> how is it different? Because I was worried about breaking plans with you, and you couldn't care less about breaking plans with me. Oh, now look, Lucy, when I moved in with you, we made girls' rules. If either one of us had a date with a man, all other plans were automatically canceled, remember? Gee, you're right. It's been so long since either of us had a real date, I'd forgotten what the rules were. <laughs> it's been so long since either of us had a real date, I'd forgotten we were girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's your date with, Harry? Oh, no, not Harry. Gee, everybody acts as though I never go out with anybody but Harry. You don't. <laughs> well, Harry doesn't even count as a real date. I'm going out with a Dr. Rudy Warren, a dentist. Oh, no kidding. That was a lucky little cavity. <laughs> He's not my dentist. I met him at the Simmons dinner party last week. Oh. Who's your date? Eddie Collins. Mm. <laughs> the poor dear's been out on the road so long, and he's been eating in restaurants. So I'm fixing him a home-cooked dinner here tonight, if it's all right with you. Oh, dear. Man. I promised Rudy a home-cooked meal here tonight. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, this is a sticky wicket. <laughs> one of our stickiest. <laughs> well, obviously, one of us will have to go out to dinner, and the other can stay home. And I'm going to go out to dinner, and you're going to stay home? Thank you, dear. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> now, Lucy, that's not fair. I want to cook dinner here for Eddie tonight now. I'm trying to convince him what a homebody I am. Since when did you get so serious about Eddie? Since there's nobody else around at this particular time to get serious about. Well, Rudy's a gourmet, and I promised to cook him trout amandine. 
Since when do you know how to cook trout, Amandine? Since I found out it's Rudy's favorite dish. <laughs> now, Lucy, I want to cook dinner here tonight for Eddie. I'm trying to impress him. Well, I'm trying to make an impression on Rudy. And I promised to fix him dinner here tonight, and so it's all settled. How is it all settled? Now, wait a minute. I pay you rent here, and part of my deal is that I have kitchen privileges. So it isn't settled at all. I'm not going to go out of this house tonight. Well, neither am I. <laughs> well, we'll just see about that. Well, you bet we will. All right. Hi, girls. What do you want, Harry? <laughs> well, I had nothing better to do. I thought I'd come in and get my head bitten off. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Now, look, Lucy, if you think I'm going to change my plans, you've got another think coming. If you think I've got another think coming, you've got another think coming. Well, if I think that you think that I've got another think... <laughs> Where are we? I think she's got another think coming. <laughs> Wait a minute, I... wait a minute. Before we return to the fight of the week, how would you lovely young ladies like to be my guests at the movies tonight? I'll buy the tickets, you buy the popcorn. Sorry, Harry, we can't make it. But you two always go to the movies on Saturday night. Well, tonight we have dates. Dates? <laughs> Real live dates. You know, Harry, like when someone calls you up ahead of time and asks if you're free on a certain evening in the future, Unlike some people I know. I'm asking you ahead of time. The movie's not until tonight. <laughs> Sorry, my calendar's full. Now listen, Viv. We are going to get this thing settled right now. You're darn right we are. Hold if it, hold think... it, hold it. What's this fight all about anyway? We both ask our dates here for dinner tonight. So what's the problem? Oh, boy, have you got a lot to learn about dating. <laughs> Gee, Harry, remember the old saying, two's company, four's a bore. Yeah. You remember what I told you the last time you had this beef? You should convert the basement into a rumpus room. Then you'd have two places to entertain your dates. A rumpus room would cost $2,000, and I cannot afford it. It would not cost $2,000. They have a great new do-it-yourself paneling kit. The whole room would only cost you $69.50. And I'll help. Harry, if we started right now and had a crew of 10 men, we couldn't finish that room by tonight. You're right. That's right. You got any more brilliant ideas, Harry? Well, it seems to me the only fair thing to do is for each couple to go out to dinner. Well, I'm not going out. And I'm not going out either. Look, what's more important, your friendship or some man? <laughs> well? Well? Right, Viv. We'll both go out to dinner. That's the only fair thing to do. Yeah. We'll both go out. To that's dinner. right. <laughs> I'm glad that settled. Oh, me too. <laughs> See it. <laughs> hey, I just thought of something. What's that, honey? If you go out to dinner, I might as well stay here and cook. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Nice try, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. Nobody stays home. Okay, okay. Nobody stays home. <laughs> trout in the icebox. <laughs> My, you have a suspicious mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, kids, I'll drop you off at the movie. Bye, Bye Mom. Lucy. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good time. Have a nice time with Rudy. Have a good time with Eddie. Good night.
Well, I can hardly wait. Oh, hi there. Ah! <laughs> oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, hi, Lucy. <laughs> what brings you two back? Oh, uh, hey, uh, I, I forgot my gloves. Oh? What are those two black things buttoned on your head? <laughs> you mean these two black things on my hand? Uh, <laughs> they're my gloves. <laughs> oh, you see what you do to me, you naughty boy? <laughs> well, what restaurant are we eating in, Eddie? Restaurant? Now, wait a minute. Eddie, I thought this Eddie, was... Eddie, what restaurant, Eddie? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so late. Oh, that's uh, quite all right. Let me take your coat. Thank you. Beautiful evening, it isn't it? It certainly is. Nice. Oh, you look lovely, Lucy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. Oh, well, that must be my trout amandine. Trout amandine. Mm. Has an unusual fragrance. It smells like pine. <laughs> pine? Oh, yes. Pine. Yes, that's the secret to my recipe. Oh, I never heard of that. Uh, what part of the pine tree do you use? Uh, well, now, what part of the tree do you think I use? <laughs> you, don't, you don't chop up the needles in the sauce. By George, you guess my secret. <laughs> yeah, come on, sit down. We can start dinner right oh, away. Oh, fine. We'll start I'm with the salad. And I tell you, you can cool the wine for me. All right. It just needs a little twiddling back and forth, you know? <laughs> I just have to uh, get this. Lucy, this is my favorite wine. Oh, is it now? Yes. Oh, well, I'm so glad. <laughs> Vivian Bagley and Eddie Collins. How do you do? Do you like Doctor? it? Doctor? Uh, well, 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 what did you forget this time? <laughs> May I speak to you for a moment, dear? <laughs> well, how about some other time, honey? <laughs> how about right now, dear? Well, right now, I do have a few things to do. Lucy! Just... <laughs> Would you excuse me? Surely. Lucy, you've pulled some mighty sneaky things in your day, but this time you've out-sneakered yourself. How could you do this to me? Me, your best friend. Me who trusted you. Me who believed every word you said. How could you do this? I'm no good. <laughs> would I do a thing like this to you? Would I? Never in a million years. Come in. Bonnie's catering service. Hey, you! Oh, no. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Vivian Bagley It's in another here. Mrs. Vivian Bagley. Just a minute. You got the right place. What have you got there? None of your business. Open it. I will not. If you don't, I, I will. <laughs> well. Lucy. You've ruined my home-cooked dinner. <laughs> Looks like the sneaker's on the other foot. Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 my trout. Oh, my trout. Ah! Oh. Oh. Hey, Peter, stop holding everything up! Oh, uh, uh, Lucy burned her trout. 
And Vivian dropped her box lunch. <laughs> We'll just eat out. Sure, we can all eat out together. A yeah, good deal. Well, that sounds like a fun idea. Yeah, well, we'll be with you in a few minutes, fellas. The only way I'll eat out with you is in separate restaurants. <laughs> I wouldn't eat with you if I was starving. Well, you won't have to. And you won't have to have dinner with me tonight. And you won't have to have breakfast or lunch with me ever again. Because tomorrow morning, I am going to move out of this house. Good. That'll save me the trouble of throwing you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Sherman. Bye, Chris. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Mother, aren't you and Aunt Viv even going to say goodbye to each other? Certainly. Goodbye, Vivian. Goodbye, Lucille. <laughs> hey, they're coming back! Oh! I had to come back. It doesn't make any difference to me, but Sherman missed Jerry, so it broke his little heart. Yeah, Jerry feels the same way about Sherman. <laughs> we gotta stay together for the sake of the boys. Hurry, we gotta stay. Please let me take uh, your sleigh. I hope you're having a nice day there, girl. Sorry, Viv, I'll never fight with you again. And I'll never fight with you again. And just so we don't have any more trouble on our dates, I'm gonna take Harry's advice and turn the basement into a rumpus room. Oh, Lucy, you mean my friendship is worth $2,000 to you? No, $69.50. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. <laughs> says that this has to set for a few minutes, so let's move the rest of that coal bin over there. Okay. We have to let it set for a while before we can put that paneling All on, right. you know. So uh -huh. I want it to work real right. He said it's going to be wonderful. Lucy. What? Will you tell me why we had to knock down the coal bin and move it from over there, over here? Well, you certainly don't want a coal bin sitting out in the middle of a beautiful rumpus room. <laughs> you look great now. And don't forget, when it's all finished, half this room is yours. I have a very good idea which half is going to be mine. <laughs> oh, push, push. Well? Oh, say, now, Lucy. What? We'll have to remember to call Mr. Turner and tell him we've moved the coal bin over here, or are we ever going to get any more coal again? Well, I doubt it. I called him this morning and gave him the most heart-rending sob story you ever heard. I was magnificent, but he didn't even budge. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a hard-hearted, soft coal man. <laughs> Let's get out the paneling. Okay. What do I do? Just guide me now down here at the edge of this. Right down in here so I get it right straight with that. All right. Hey, up, 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 up. Is that it? That's it. There we go. No. about that oh boy that's great isn't that beautiful oh i'll say one thing that glue really stit hey isn't it gonna look wonderful when it's all done oh viv look at this spot you left oh sorry well i guess if you want a room glued well you gotta glue it yourself <laughs> lucy what i was just thinking when we get that coal bin all put back together again, we could get a sort of a, oh, kind of a pretty screen and hide all that stuff over there, huh? That's a good idea. Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, about that. And that stuff. Can you believe that? Here, I'll help you. <laughs> around it and pass it off as a Picasso. Put something over there and scrape it off. Yes, I don't believe this glue. I better get this other panel done. Just let me close. 
pulling me off. Oh! Oh! No, get me around. Oh! Look! Pull him a little harder, Lucy. Come on now. Come on, get me. Uncomfortable. I never heard of glue like this. Ugh. Now, come on, Lucy. Yeah, okay. Come on, get me around. This is. Th come on, get me around. Okay. Uh, now. Get a good grip. Come on, grip. get a good grip and go. <laughs> stuck against the wall. Well, Harry, it's a long story. Maybe some winter night when the television's broken and we're sitting around the fire and you haven't got another flight, we'll tell you all about it. <laughs> 